Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief. After finding out a new way to freaking record my Wednesday message on week 23. So I'm in my office at 2.50 a.m. on a Wednesday. So I'm technically recording my Wednesday message. Behind me is the most valuable photograph ever. Me and Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran, my mentor and visionary. All right in the plaza hotel new york city guys just before we went for the ifa award at the metlife stadium it was an unbelievable week in new york all right i am here in the office i just spent three four hours with all the amazing warriors from the v corporate family i have avp manoj here avp uh rosely v partner dave joel v partner david sharma the amazing warriors of the creative lab in the philippines everyone is here including irish she came to malaysia just amazing people i love them and now i'm here guys okay to talk about the wednesday message week 23 and while talking to everyone today i realized some of the early days when i used to sit down with them from 2006 when i was given this responsibility of becoming i think i was first the executive director of the v and then I became the managing director. And uh, I remember my journey with Japa and Dato Sri Vijay when they wanted to transform the V into the most unbelievable upline in the world that we have achieved. And I remember one of the biggest lessons I learned from Dato Sri Vijay. And I have to give a lot of credit to my mom, God bless her soul, because she instilled this value system in me. And I want to share it with you guys. So today is a little bit of nostalgia remembering my journey with people like irish Daoud, uh claire from the philippines our journey together even rosalie manoj dave david um adrian is here and i remember what we went through and i asked myself what was the most important element of my journey the whole time the ultimate search and today i want to share this with you and it applies equally to you your family um, your kids, everyone, okay? So I don't want you to only listen to this message for yourself. After listening to this gorgeous Malaysian, talk to your kids about this. I think the ultimate search of all men, all women, all kids is happiness. All right? And we take it for granted. The saddest thing I've seen in my 24 years are people who have made money, achieved fame and recognition, but deep down inside, they're not happy. And I made a promise to Japa, Dato Sri Vijay, all right, that I would be the flag bearer of true happiness in this journey of network marketing, in this journey of achieving financial freedom. Because this is not an easy journey, all right? This journey comes with a lot of challenges that you are facing wherever you are right now, whether it's rejection, whether it's a crisis. And I think... And I don't know whether I'm right, but this is how I look at life, right? From the time you were born until you die one day. These are the two guarantees in life. If you're born, you're going to die one day, all right? Hopefully, you have a long life. That's my prayer and wish for all of you guys. Your ultimate goal is to sustain and increase your level of happiness. That's your ultimate goal. There's no other purpose. Everything you do comes to that ultimate goal. You are building a max out tracking center to increase the happiness in you and the people around you or the people who depend on you. You want to change lives of your downlines and inspire people to, to rise and evolve to become better because it gives you some level of happiness. It gives them some level of happiness. You do trainings, you do power of association. It's all about spreading that vibration and energy of happiness you smile 
all right, to create happiness in others. This is the ultimate goal. Everything else is a tool. Everything else is a method. Everything else just is a path for you to reach this ultimate goal of happiness. So today, I have a question to ask you. And I think you have to answer this honestly. Whoever you are, whether you are brand new IR, right, you just hit your first direct referral, which is an unbelievable feeling. You hit your first check, unbelievable. You are consistently earning checks. You're struggling, your checks drop. Um, you are in a crisis situation or a challenging situation. Um, your loved ones support you, not support you. All right, you're maxing out as a max out king or queen. It doesn't matter. Ask yourself, are you truly happy? And I don't think we ever take time to ask this question. Right? We ask ourselves so many other questions. Do we have enough money? Are we providing well for our family? All right? Am I a good downline? Am I a good upline? Okay? Do I belong to the right organization? Is QNET the best part for me? We ask millions of stupid moronic questions where the answer is immaterial. But we don't stop and ask ourselves the most important question. Right? Are you truly happy? And what is it that gives you happiness on this journey? Is it the commission check? It's okay. Then earn the biggest commission you can. Is it watching your downlines earn a commission check? Right? If that gives you the biggest happiness, then push and help and support and be in service to your downlines to the max to make sure they earn money. Is it changing lives? Right? Or is it creating an environment of family and a real team that people can have a sense of belonging and know that they have support and there's somebody there? Whatever, whatever creates that happiness in you, you need to identify it. Because without happiness, everything doesn't make sense. Without happiness, all the money in the world doesn't make sense. Now today, thanks to Japa, Dato Sri Vijay, this great industry called network marketing, this great company called QNet and the V, I am financially free. But let me be honest with you. Beyond the money, what really matters to me, to my family, to the people around me, is my happiness levels. Right? Because you have to understand this. You can walk into a room of people who are sad, and negative and you can actually feel the energy and you can walk into a play gym in a mall with a hundred crazy kids screaming and shouting and giggling and laughing for no reason and it just brings joy to your heart you cannot stop by smile do an experiment today right after the Wednesday message go to your wife go to your mom your dad even your mother-in-law your kids and just smile just smile. Don't stop. Look them in their eyes and smile. And I guarantee you, in 5, 10 seconds, they will smile back. It is the greatest example of how we are created that our energy transfers to the other person. So if you are one of these networkers who believe in power of positivity, the power of happiness, you create a powerful network of happy people. Now you may be thinking, Chief, why are you talking about this very complicated, emotional, moronic topic called happiness? I want to know how to max out. I'm coming to it. A happy network produces the greatest results. In my 24 years of experience, I can tell you, that a happy network, a happy upline, a happy downline, a happy team, a happy family creates higher BV, higher commissions for everyone. It's directly related. I have seen it. It's proven scientifically that the happiest organizations where there is true brotherhood, true sisterhood, true family, true in-service DNA, true belief in the mission of rhythm, true enjoyment of this journey, true love and loyalty to Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, all right, they create the greatest results. And sometimes an organization, I observe, slows down in their performance, their BVs or whatever. It's not because there's a crisis, not because anything, because the happiness levels 
in the leadership, the happiness levels in that organization has dropped. Your BVs, your commission checks, the growth of your organization is directly related to the happiness levels. Now, somebody asked me this question. What is happiness? And recently, I've been blessed to be a father. All right? The, 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 the most amazing thing, being a dad. And I... I'm not surrounded by young kids much, okay? Even though a lot of the people who work for me and work with me and sometimes, you know, I look at all of you like kids sometimes, all right? Okay, and I am the, I am the, not the, I'm the uncle, all right? Japa and Dato are the fathers, okay? But honestly, seeing a little kid around me and seeing his level of happiness for no freaking reason right it can be anything it can be a piece of rock and can create a contagious laughter that creates a vibration that can cleanse even the darkest environment i promise you and i realize you only see through happiness in children today and i realize in 2006 when I was given the responsibility to take over the V, my message to everyone has not changed from then till now. That the great leaders, if you want to be a max out king, you want to be a max out queen, all right? This I read this quote. It was written by somebody anonymous. I don't know who wrote it. I wrote it in the wall in the V office. If you come to the V office, the quote states, the greatest of kings or queens never allowed the child within to die. Just listen to this quote. The greatest of kings and queens never allowed the child within to die. Right? Because only the child within you is truly capable of sincere happiness. Only the child within you celebrates the smallest thing as it is the greatest thing. Only the child within you is capable of laughter, of sincerity. Only the child within you can believe and have faith at an absolute level with no doubt, whether it's Santa Claus, whether it's the Tooth Fairy, okay? Whether they can reach out and touch the sky and... and pick a star and down their faith their belief of children are just unbelievable i pray that i can take the heart of children and put into every networker in the v today we will conquer the world to a whole new level only a child within can smile for no reason it's just a good day it's a great day only a child within will not complain about anything only a child within can say I love you just by looking at you. There is no greater sight in the world than seeing a baby fall asleep and giggle while sleeping. And that happiness is what I believe directly creates the ability to build a huge network. And I need you to find that happiness. My Wednesday message today is to remind you that at one time in your journey, all right, the child within you was so strong. When you started with us, you were just a baby. Everything was mesmerizing. Receiving your product was the greatest thing in life. Getting your first direct referral was the best feeling in the world. Achieving your first commission check, you felt like you won a gold medal in the Olympics, guys. Even with $250, you felt like a freaking millionaire. All right? Nothing discouraged you. You had a, you had a glow, a glitter in your eye that you were going to conquer the world. You listened to your uplines like a child listening to a parent. You emptied your cup. You believed in yourself. You had faith in yourself, your team, the industry. No amount of negativity. Google didn't distract you. Nothing distracted you. You were pure. And the greatest mistake you can make in network marketing... And I don't know how to say this without contradiction of what I say. 
I think you should evolve. I think you should change. I think you should become better. I think you should, you know, grow. But my advice to you, if you want to be the happiest max out king or queen, grow, but never grow up. That's the most profound statement I made in a long time. Grow, but please don't grow up. Please don't kill that child within. Don't allow anything around you to take that child away. If you ask me what is my secret of happiness, what is my secret to have this smile sincerely on my face at two, three o'clock in the morning, what's my secret of being able to give you and give you and give you, what's my secret of my love for Japa and Dato Sri Vijay and being on this journey for 24 years with them, is you see Chief Patman Senati Raja. But the little Patman inside is alive, rocking and kicking. The world around me has grown up. Everything has changed. But I refuse to grow up. So if you ask me, what's my true secret of success? I never stop growing. But I never grew up. So as the great kings and queens of our history has taught us, if you want to achieve greatness, never allow the child within you to die. I love you guys.